So how do you feel about public restrooms? Dread? <laughs> Thought so. But have you ever wondered why toilet stall doors rarely reach all the way to the floor? Well, it turns out there's not one, but several fully valid reasons for not enclosing bathroom stalls. Some of them are obvious, while others turned out to be unexpected. Ready to take the plunge? Here we go! If a person loses consciousness or has some other urgent medical condition in a fully enclosed stall, it could take hours until someone notices it. And as you know, there are emergencies when every minute counts. On the other hand, if there's a gap between the floor and the door of a bathroom stall, other visitors will immediately notice a person who's passed out. On top of that, in this case, there's no need to break down the door, since a medical worker can slip under it through the gap and unlock it from the inside. Space below the stall door helps visitors <clears throat> to see that there's someone inside and prevents people from barging in on another person. You know how it works. You see someone's feet inside the stall, you look for another unoccupied toilet, or you wait your turn. Besides, when public bathroom doors don't reach the floor, it prevents unnecessary lines. People can calculate in their heads how much time they'll need to spend on waiting for an unoccupied mm. stall and decide whether they're ready to wait or they'd rather look for another public restroom. Now, fully enclosed stalls are more likely to provide you with an unforgettable gag-inducing oh. experience since it isn't so easy to get rid of the smells inside. Open stalls, on the contrary, have much better ventilation, which is essential when it comes to public mm. bathroom stalls. Thanks to air circulation, bad smells dissipate faster, but still not fast enough for me. A bit more obvious, and probably one of the most common reasons, is that not fully enclosed bathroom stalls are cheaper. First, to produce a door in such a stall, less material is needed. Therefore, it costs less to make, to buy, and to install this door, which is one of the most crucial mm. things for a business owner. In addition, simple stall divisions are way easier. They don't depend on the height of the ceiling or the evenness of the floor. But if you decide to order floor-to-ceiling stalls, it will require much more effort such as custom fitting and precise cutting. For many businesses, hmm. all this trouble doesn't make any financial sense. Leaving a gap under a bathroom stall door discourages all kinds of inappropriate behavior. Psychologically, the less protected and enclosed a person feels, the less likely they are to do something harmful and risky. And if a public toilet stall reaches all the way to the floor, it allows people to feel like they're in private. As a result, they won't hesitate to, let's say, draw graffiti or damage the stall in any other way. Also, with a gap under the door, other visitors will notice somebody who's causing trouble and stop this activity right away. It's next to impossible to get out of a fully enclosed bathroom stall on your own once the lock jams. You'd be trapped inside and must call for help. On the contrary, when a toilet has a gap under the door in case of an emergency, you can easily escape by crawling under it. Imagine the nightmarish situation when, after doing your business, you suddenly realize there's no toilet paper in your stall. Ew. Unfortunately, if at that moment you're in a fully enclosed stall, no one can save you. But if you've been lucky enough to experience this tragic problem in a stall with a gap under the door, you can swallow your embarrassment and ask your neighbor to save the day by handing over some paper. Have you ever had any embarrassing moments like this in a public restroom? Let me know down in the comments! Fully enclosed stalls give visitors a cozy feeling of isolation. They cut out the noise of heavy bathroom traffic, and as a result, people lose the sense of others who are waiting for their turn. They get more relaxed and spend longer on taking care of their business. But when a bathroom stall isn't entirely enclosed, visitors tend to feel more rushed, which speeds up the traffic and gets rid of bathroom lines. And the last, and probably the most apparent reason for leaving the gap, is that it makes bathrooms easier to clean. A custodian can simply run their mop under the doors instead of wasting time on opening and closing each of them. You can imagine what a time saver it is if a bathroom is large. The same goes for power cleaning the floor. When there's more open space for water to flow, cleaning becomes faster and more efficient. Boy, file this stuff away for when you're at a party and you are surrounded by obnoxious people 
who won't let you get a word in edgewise. Simply jump in with some of these public restroom facts and watch how fast you can clear the room. Told you this stuff is useful. Okay, okay, now I get it. But here's another question that intrigues me. Why do most bathroom hmm. main entry doors open inwards? I mean that when you enter, you must push the door, and when you leave, you pull it. But wouldn't it make more sense if it were vice versa? This way, you wouldn't have to touch the door handle with your freshly washed hands as you exit. Just push it with your shoulder and you're free. But no! Even though it's not true about all public bathrooms, to exit most of them, you must touch the doorknob. What gives? Well, first, it prevents the door from blocking the hallway. Imagine there's high bathroom traffic. As a result, if the door was of the push-to-exit type, it would take even more space and make people who walk down the hallway crowd at the door. Also, next to many public toilets, there are closets, drinking fountains, and other utilities. And a door that opens outward would cause a lot of inconvenience to those who need to use these amenities. Plus, can you imagine how hard it would be to navigate the hallway if there's an emergency? Bathroom doors shouldn't hinder or block the movement in case of an evacuation. Another reason to have push-to-enter doors in public bathrooms is safety. These doors have both the lock and hinges on the inside. Therefore, no one can lock you in the bathroom. Also, doors that open inward help to handle unpleasant smells, which aren't rare for public bathrooms. The thing is that when you open the door in the bathroom, some fresh outside and non-smelly air gets sucked inside and helps to dissipate the bad smells. As for a door's opening outward, the pattern would be the opposite. The smelly air would be constantly sucked out of the bathroom. Well, that stinks. You probably won't argue that when you're in the bathroom, you want some privacy. But at the same time, a door that swings out from the restroom gives visitors and passers-by a much better, unrestricted view of what's happening inside the bathroom than one that opens inward. A push-to-enter door also makes sense if you're going to the bathroom to wash something off your hands. This way, you can use your shoulder to open the bathroom door, and you don't have to touch the door handle. And finally, according to my personal observations, people are usually in a way bigger hurry when they enter the bathroom than when they exit. You never know. Maybe those precious seconds saved by a push-to-enter door will prevent some poor soul from having (sighs) severely extremely unpleasant moments, if you know what I mean. Well, flush that. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click on the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!